Hi, my name is Anwar Khetri and in this video I'll be showing how to exploit Windows 7 system using system vulnerability with VNC payload. So both our Kali system and Windows system are hosted in VMware. So we'll start by checking the IP address of Kali system which is 192.168.80.128. I will be using netdiscover to find out all the live hosts in this network. So as you can see 192.168.80.129 is there. So we will try to find out whether this particular IP is the IP of my Windows 7 system or not. So I will be using script called SMB OS discovery to find out what's the IP, uh, what's the operating system of this IP address As we see out here, it is Windows 7 Professional 7600. So there is a vulnerability, system vulnerability called MS17010 present in Windows 7 which can be exploited using Eternal Blue Exploit which is present in Metasploit so I will search for the system vulnerability MS17010 and here is the exploit available. I will copy the exploit and paste it out here. Check the option port 445. I'll set the R host, which is 192.168.80.129, the IP address of Windows 7 system, and hit exploit. We got a connection but as you can see the connection out here is shell. What we want is a graphical connection which we can only get via VNC inject. So what we need to do, we need to change the payload. So as you can see out here by default the payload which is set in this exploit is generic slash shell underscore reverse underscore TCP. So we need to change this payload to Windows VNC. inject reverse underscore tcp so we'll check for the options again all options are there but we only need to change this particular option out here which is view only so we need to set it to false otherwise we won't be able to control the mouse and the keyboard so i'll change the view only option to false and hit exploit So as you can see out here we got the graphical connection of the Windows 7 system. I can control it. So thank you.